Thank you, Excellency. But we agreed never to stand. We agreed. And look at you, it's just you guys. Uh, if we know where respect should be due. Mimi sina mengi. Na wapongeza sana kwa ukarimu. I started by saying the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Viongozi mmewacha nafazi zenu nyingi. Shugli nyingi mkaja. Ili kumtumikia mwenyezi mungu. Again, thank you so much for our guest speaker. Na Pastor Kebaso, right? Eh, kwa mwaliko wenu. Kama tumeongea, tukapita njia. Mutatusamehe. Lakini vizuri pia mkituwalika. <laughs> Tutue yote. Ndiyo tukitoka mkiomba, munajua hawa watu ni sampli gani. <laughs> Wana maitaji sampli gani. Because we are the same. Tukitoka hapa, we are the same people. Tukirudi. Na nyenye vile vile mutujue. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema asante. Mwishimu wa Seneta uh, Kajuang. Hametumana pia laki moja. 100,000. So the total figure is uh, 2.5 million. Imepita juu. Eh, naona imepita juu. Ya. Yeah, yeah, 2.566. Hii karibu tu, tuendele. Mwesikia kwa mba zimetolewa kama mwishimu wa sufuna amesema Ro Safi Kuna wengine munaweza kuwaita kusama kweli Wakaleta milioni shirini Lakini lazima muulizane Hizo ela Unless muet, mutoke kwa madhebao kwanza muziobe na mufanye fasting <laughs> For one week <laughs> Ndiyo mungu awaeleze kama atazikubali. Tumefika hapo katika mambo yetu enji hii. Ya mezungumza juu ya garama ya maisha. Tuwaelewa kama sisi wanakamati. Juzi tukawaita ma expert. Ambao na ujuzi. Hakaja mama moja mimi limuona for the first time. I used to hear kwamba huyo mama ni anapeana hidhini. Uh, county governments wapatue peza zao control of the budget ndia na ata idinisha zile ambazo serikali ya, ya serikali kuu ina, inatumia vipi na kazungumza kama expert haku zungumza kama mimi ambavyo na zungumza sasa hivi alikuwa na tabulation hakuwa na figures extrapolations expert opinion Na huyo mama akasema mambo ya ajabu. Kama muliangalia runinga, aliongea mpaka meyu ni kamuliza, haha, na, na walikuja kukuambia nini. Akasema hadi wa sasa, aja pata, aja pata explanation ni kwa nini mshara wake. Ambao unajulikana na umeandikwa, she is a state officer. Hiyo mshara katika makadirio ya serikali national budget, Inaongezekwa, ina, inawekwa three times. Na ya nalipo ule wake. Two times hiu mshara yake inaenda kwa wengine. Sio ye peke yake. Hebu mujulize. And today, I think it is a nation newspaper. Nasema haste. Kitu haste. Unajua ma, ma haramia wanaiba pesa nyingi kwa mabengi. Wakienda wa, 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 wa ibe hundi kubwa. Isio na esabu. They call it a haste. Yani kitu ya jabwe. Therefore we are waiting for an explanation. And, and I think that uh, before we do, we need to, I can tell you, if we can get only five Dr. Margaret Nyakangos in this country, then I can tell our teams in parliament, in the Senate, and in the National Assembly, that at least you can relax. But before you do, as male leaders in parliament, please stand up with all the authority and the mandate given to you by the people of Kenya, by your own constituencies. At the county level, kama Senator Sifuna, vile ameongea mpaka, everybody knows who Sifuna is. Jameni, don't let down the gauntlet. Musilale. Because 
we are now talking of less than three, four years. Imesalia meaka za hii chini ya four years. Na mjua hatuja pata suluhu juu ya kitu gani kilifanyika 2022. Even before we talk about 2027. Na huyo ndio msimamo wangu. Because tumekubaliana kwamba audit itafanyika tujue exactly kitu gani kilifanyika so that's important because i know as a believer that jesus christ is the absolute truth sometimes political leaders misquote that asema you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free jesus christ is talking about himself he's the truth and so let nobody try to say mkijua ukweli uh, that ukweli uta taweka huru um nataka tu niseme kwamba wa Kenya msife moyo tusife moyo kwani hatuna inji nyingine mengine yanayotolewa ni ya kiajabu nimeona kwa mitandao na sio kwa mitandao i think imezekana kwamba sasa mtapatiwa ile inaitwa <laughs> digital id digital and if what we are saying is true then we must have a national conversation unless pastor who was a guest to speak again or coach unless we go to ambie the end time is already here that the antichrist is already here unless muje mtuambie mambo haya because inawezekana sasa wewe utakuwa unaenda kwa soko badala ya kubeba ID una, na hii imesemekana kutoka kwa mdomo wa rais mwenyewe kwamba jicho lako jicho lako ndilo litatumika kabla litumike all kinds of formulation mtoto akizaliwa anawekwa kwa chip anawekwa chip mimi sitakubali niwekwe chip wewe utakubali our little daughter what is her name again shalin i i want shalin to continue as 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 pure as she is a little saint and i want to congratulate sda because of the pathfinders team yes. he a finder you know, first of all they believe in abstinence kwamba utafanya usherati ama nini mpaka wewe mwenyewe upate mchumba wako muende kwa pasta so that age of opportunity 10 to 15 years this is the team that will come to me and if we are not in an sda church i'll be clapping for them <laughs> because that is was as to angalie that team because dunia imeharibika kwa sababu ya hali ngumu ya maisha watoto wengine wakiwa wachanga wanaachiliwa waende wakatafute namna ya kulete unga Mshumo asifuna kumbe mbaloi anaunga ni one and the same thing. <laughs> Ndio nilisikia one joke ya mkamba na mkikuyu na mluya. Eh. Mwindi anasema mutiso. Mutiso. Wewe utakuwa kai kazi permanent. Eh. Akaenda kwa <laughs> Joroge. Joroge tukutane juu kwa ofisi. <laughs> Because anajua ata negotiate na wewe wafula wafula nitakuongeza 20 minutes ya lunch <laughs> wengine wakaenda 10 minutes mimi nakupa 20 minutes ay 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 lazima kuwe na unga sio waluye peke yao wa Kenya wana njaa ni kweli si kweli na sio kusema fertilizer fertilizer ingine hata Putin mwenyewe alisema amepeana <laughs> a lot of fertilizer free ya bure akasema when he was hosting the africa russia summit alafu wao na jamaa anakuja kutuambia tumeteremsha bei ya fertilizer kutoka 1600 kuja 2000 ndio baba akasema tunajua mlichanganya na mchanga ile mlipatiwa ya bure <laughs> so we must be honest So we are going even if we are to accept like in the senate you have the minority leadership in the senate even if we are to accept that then we are not going to sleep 
it is not going to be kwamba tu mnapiga kelele opposition at mnaanzisha opposition for the sake of kupiga kelele no we have very serious business to transact and that is why i want to encourage you the teams that have come today you have said very kind things i think mliona vile hawa jamaa wa kenya kwanza walisema ukiangalia kila wanalofanya wana campaign for 2027 si ni kweli kila wakienda eh hata malukia akija i mean no mfalo me akija is part and parcel of what they want to do they use it and we know maybe it is legitimate on their part therefore it must be tukiongea team yetu ya azimio wachane mimi tuongee na kinaichungwa na nyinyi muende kazi sio kulala are we together yes. sda mutani mutani ruhusu niseme hiyo it's very important a serious business because wengine wanasema wana to manage tukae tu tukiongea inji pone i had it from a governor from nyandarwa eh hey. mm. wakati tunakuwa tu managed I, it is not going to be easy we are there watching and moving and we are going to move the country is expecting some hope ni kama sasa wametupa tu they have given up sasa ni kuongea ni nyenye kalonzo mnaongea tu na kina chungwa mnaongea eh sifuna ameeleza vile he could not take it inaweza kafika mahali na mimi mwambie tumewaambia wa Kenya wana njaa hamusiki msipofanya what you are telling you bash bash na bash ni bash <laughs> eh hey. sema bash if you can't hear we because wanasema sisi ndio tuko tashikilia atamu za uongozi ya nini inawahusu nyinyi kina kalonza sema no 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 this thing is about constitution 2010 kuna vitu inaitwa article 43 rights the right to decent life the right to food watoto ndio kwanza education sector hiyo usifuna my brother i don't even know my younger brother whether we have time i, I think hiyo tuachilie because they are messed up education wame mess up kabisa they don't even know and yet we must tell them yeah so musife moyo we have given ourselves up to 22nd of this month atutaki kukaa hapo forever tutawaletea hiyo report eh but before we do we we'll go ruto apatiwe if we probably we go and see him all of us to we'll talk to kona raila all of us tuambie you are the ones who gave us this assignment sasa it is up to you now sisi wa kenya amesema hii on monday tunaangojea wakuje ah naona naona ndungu waziri wa ruto wa finance anasema maneno dr nyakango ameongea haijulikani inatoka in... we want to hear him we have up, open forum by the way kumbuka sifuna walikuwa wanasema they want everything in the open ilifika mahali wakasema hapana tufunike ingine <laughs> because kenyans are speaking their minds so as we celebrate 25 years of sda moja 2 we have to remind ourselves as kenyans where are we and where are we going leaders kila mtu aweke the next the next gear mheshimiwa mark mwenje i know you have the genes of david mwenje mwango i've seen you for the first time umeongea ingawaje ingawaje babu wino does not think you are in the cu <laughs> yeah but clearly we are going to stand with you Personally I want to develop some of these younger ones. I will. Niliingia nikiwa yanga. And uh watu wa umoja watu wa embakasi east and south and embakasi north. People of what is called Islands. You stood for what is right wakati wa maandamano. It was your right as team wa nyonya said vijana wengine walikufa walikufa tusisahau hiyo blood was shed because of kenyans exercising their constitutional rights we cannot forget that 
I personally would attack come and say anything, I can't forget that. And if there are some who are still being held yeah, illegally, because they are assuring us, Kwamba, hey, watatoka, watatoka. Never mind about our security. Mimi na mini security yangu ni mungu na wanainchi. Eh. Watarudisha wale, hata rudisha. Eh. Kama nataka kuiba kodoya mamangina tena, wale waliiba kule. And you get national shame. Because mamangina may be a, a former first lady. But she's a widow, correct? Eh. Mjane, haimalishi kama alikuwa mjane wa raisa ama mjane wa mtu wa kawaida, ni mjane. Na, and for her being the mother of the nation, I think people may have to go and think and pray and ask mamangina haji one forum as a mayor wa Kenya. Because that was not right. We are losing our national values and this is very painful. Kwa hivyo mimi kwa pande wangu, Itakuwa na nyenye mkinita tena, itarudi. Eh, tumeshukuru sana. Tumeshukuru sana sana. Na mungu wa bariki ya santeni kwa mwaliko wenu. I now know my friend uh, uh, from Bariton, Pastor Kamundi. He speaks fluent kejaluo. Ki, 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 ki si. Kikamba is even without an accent. Uh -huh. And we have also people who are gifted and they have that spirit. So let's really look at this nation. Holistically. Now, and I want to tell you, we shall go now. Sifuna, honestly, to Sikai, to Sikai, and I'm telling even those who are in their comfort zones, Tokeni, Tokeni, we can't afford to have another Mavoko. On the one hand, you're giving Kenyans free, on a same affordable housing. Na ile wenyewe majijengea, Unabomoa without a heart. Ni kama wajamaa, they have hearts of stone. I want a row ya binadamu. Hey. So let us see the win-win they are talking about. Whether they will first of all compensate the people mavoko. You talk about maali kulikuwa na polling station. Kulikuwa na steam emeweko kule. Watu wamejenga manyumba. Wamepigua kura kule. And then you bring down five churches. You bring down primary schools. And you are talking about affordable housing. I look forward to hearing Banahinga on Monday on housing. It used to be housing levy. You know, when we say to lipiga kelele, wakatoa housing levy. Now they call it housing tax. Yani kodi kila mahali, kilo amukapo kodi ingine, kodi nyingine. I have never seen a nation out of economic depression ambayo inaweza kusurvive na mambo ya kuongeza ushuru kuongeza ushuru kila siku baada ya nyingine bila kuujumu akangu aliwambia inafika mahali katika hiyo mambo ya ushuru unaharibu kila kitu Mungu abariki sana Excellency, sir, before you sit down, yes, sir. I call upon uh, our treasurer, Elder Robert Anyago, to present you a gift. Welcome. Now, for me, I'm not a state officer, so what I get, I'm not supposed to declare. <laughs> but the state officers, you know, that is what the law is. Hey, because I, either we fight this corruption, or we give up. Thank you. So, Your Excellency, you are Thank so you. grateful. Thank you, sir. You are so grateful. But I can declare. I can declare what it is. Yes. All right, that she will give you a gift. Can I declare what it is? Can I show the gift? Yes. Thank you. You can. Yes. So you can give the gift. So this is the gift. We want you to remember this church. Thank you. And this day. And what do you think you saw? Victoria? Yes. 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 yes, you can. Uh, <laughs> Now, Sifuna, this is the example. You have to know, Nemepatiwa Nini. Hey. Hey. Shalene, you want this idea? Okay.
Yaani huyu mtoto anaheshimu wazazi. She look for the father until she got him. Okay. Eh. Hey. Hey, Ilikuwa imefunikwa. Okay. This one is entitled A Walk Through the Bible. Amen. This one is Acts of the Apostles. Amen. And this one again Acts of the Apostles volume, volume, volume. volume I think it's in two volumes. Volume 1 and 2. Volume one and two. So be enriched. <laughs> 